Okay, so this is a very short uh, instruction on how to set up Microsoft Bookings. Microsoft Bookings is a fantastic little app that's built into Office 365 that allows you to uh, keep it basically a public schedule so people can book particular services with your company and they can book those services with, with specific people. It will send reminders to both your staff and to your clients to make sure that everybody's tied in. So let's just take a look here. Now Microsoft says that you're required to have an Office 365 account for each staff member you have that wants to use the bookings calendar. And while that is true, um, it makes it sound like every one of your staff members needs to have uh, an account and that's just not the case. For instance, you can take this example here of Contoso Salon that they're showing here. You might have five people that are involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the business, but you might have 30 people at the salon, 30 staff members, you know, cutting hair and doing whatever, a bunch of part-timers and whatever. So that would mean that you would go to Microsoft, uh, or up and running for that matter, because we'll give you a free 30-day trial. Right on our homepage is a yellow box in the bottom right-hand corner that says start your free 30-day trial, so you could use that. Um, and um, what will happen then is uh, what you would probably do is create uh, or buy licenses for the five staff members that you know are involved in the management and the operations of the company. And the, the other staff members, you would simply uh, add them as staff. And while they will not be able to open the calendar and see it the same way uh, an administrator would, they certainly can be scheduled. They'll still receive emails, uh, email notifications so they can keep track of their own calendar. That's the licensing and the, um, the only thing that's really sort of confusing about the whole thing. And as I said, it's pretty straightforward. You do not need a license for each staff member. You do need a license for each person that wants to manage the calendar from the company side, but that's all. Okay, so let's go to bookings.office.com. Note it's office.com, not microsoft.com. If you're not already signed in, um, it'll ask you to sign in. I'm already signed in, so there we go. This pops up, I can click uh, the Get It Now link. And in this case, I'm going to type up and running. Business type is IT services. Okay, so now what I can do is just set it up. So let's just run through this briefly so you get, an, you get a taste for it. I won't fill out all of the fields because it's not necessary to demonstrate how simple it is. So let's go to add logo. I'm going to upload my logo by clicking here standard little PNG and I'll click Save. There we go and I can fill in all kinds of information here address, phone number, all the stuff you'd expect. Nothing terribly interesting. Change the la change the currency to whatever uh, currency you would like. Uh, dates and times all pretty stock and let's just run through this now. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to go, I'm just going to ignore this page for the minute. I'm just simply going to go through the menu on the left. Calendar, this lets me know who's available, you know, who works for the company, so on and so forth. Uh, there's nothing in here right now, there's nothing booked. Booking page, okay, so I want to increment. All my work is done in 90-minute uh, increments. I need, um, let's go with, uh, yeah, 24-hour lead time is fine. I don't want to book anything over 180 days, six months. Uh, and people should be receiving notice when um, when they book and uh, you know a reminder and our, our staff should also receive a reminder. Uh, I can change the color scheme. Not very exciting. Uh, I'll put it as um, let's choose this red one just for just for fun to be a little more consistent with the colors that I already have. Customers, uh, let me just save and publish. There we go. Uh, I have no customers in here currently, but I could add some. I could preload some. I could even import them, which is kind of cool. Staff, once again, these are the people that work in my company and I can pop them in. Services, so let's add a service so you get a taste for this. A service would be, uh, let's go with um, 90 minute um, virus removal. Okay, so a simple little thing. So removing a common virus uh, incurs a 90 minute uh, fee. There we go. Default location, I'll just put Calgary uh, because that's my main office. Uh, default price, I'm going to set the price, fixed price at $160 uh, Canadian. Um, and I want this to be 
90 minutes. So one hour and 90 minutes. Buffer time so people can't block. Sure, let's do that so you can see it. Uh, let's go with, uh, we, want a, we want a 10 minute window in between before appointments. So we can't get people to accidentally over schedule me. Notes, I don't really have any extra notes here. Um, publishing options. All right, so I'm just going to click save. And there's one of my services. If I wish to go in and edit it, I can just click on it and edit it. And um, business information, that's the hours of operation. So let's go take a look and see what uh, people at the other end see, if they want to book something with me. So I'm going to do that by going back to the home page here and click create a booking page. Uh, booking page. Let's read that. Click save and publish to publish to a website. Now the, the something to keep in mind is you can run this uh, both through your own website or sorry, well through through any website or you can run it uh, through Facebook, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look at these. Boom. So now I can click open publish page or I can just copy this link, which I'm going to do. And let's just show you what it looks like. So if you're, uh, if you're, you know, you put this link on your website, uh, this is what people will see. I really need a virus removed, so I'm going to click on here and uh, then it's going to provide uh, a list of what days are available. I think I'm going to need this next Monday and uh, I don't really care, but let's choose Ian because Ian shows is available because I'm not booked. And uh, I'm going to go at 10 a.m. is when uh, Ian or sorry, John, the fake customer would like to get in there. Uh, I can fill in my information and I can say uh, John uh, Skins. Let's go with Skims just to be extra good. And we'll go with um, John Skims. Let's go gmail.com. Doesn't really exist, by the way. 403 555 5555. Doesn't make any difference here. 111 First Ave Southwest. There we go. And notes are I think it is Crypto Locker virus that needs to be removed. So I'm simply going to click book and an email will go out to this person, which I can't show you because uh, that's not a real address, but they'll get an email and uh, the staff will also get an email. Uh, I'm going to bop over to my mail to see what mail was sent to me as the uh, technician and let's see what I get. There it is. And I'm going to use a real address now so you can see uh, what's going on. So I'm going to do a one hour initial consult. Uh, I'm going to book it with um, me and I'll book it on, um, let's do the same date and I'll do that at 2 p.m. Uh, and uh, my name is uh, Ian Fake McTester and uh, my email address is, or this is a real address for me by the way, uh, 403 and uh, uh, there we go. And notes, I'll just do junk, okay? And book. Well, let's go off to my Yahoo and we'll see what confirmation this person gets. Email that I received, which is great. And as a user, I'd be able to click manage booking. Let's do that just for fun. And I can go through and I can reschedule it or make whatever other changes I want. So um, just for fun, I'll reschedule it. So it'll bring it up the thing and I'll say, you know, I'm going to need it at 3.30. Uh, notes, uh, sorry for the last uh, minute change. Okay, update booking. There we go. I'll go back to my email. And there it is. I'll click on this one. And there it is. All nice and professional. I'm going to click on the calendar. And I'm going to go to next week. So here we can see on November 27th, I now have an initial consult with um, yeah, this fake Mc, Mc whatever and with John Skims. So let's click on this so I can see what it looks like. Isn't that nice? Uh, I can click on this and expand it and see the details. I can say, you know what? I really want to assign this to Patricia. I don't want to do it. So I can just click here and move it, assign it to her. Uh, it'll show up in her calendar. I can see the uh, notes that the person put in. Uh, I can go into the booking page and uh, in here, I can now connect this to Facebook. So if I click connect and I'll do that, It'll take me out to Facebook and uh, ask me to sign in and it will help me set it up. I'm not going to do that here, but you get the idea. It's pretty straightforward.
So that's the booking page. I can go to customers and I could, uh, you can see now I've got fake Ian McTester and John Skims. So it's already building a, a database for me, like a CRM tool. So here we are on staff. And if I want to add someone who uh, does not have an Office 365 license, um, I can simply click the Add Staff button at the top the left-hand corner. So I'm going to add Bob Okotoks. So his initials are B-O, Bob Okotoks. If I could spell it, it would be better. There we go. And the email is bob.o at gmail.com. Doesn't make any difference. For phone number, doesn't make any difference. And you can see he's logging in, or not logging in, but he's listed as a guest. So he can be assigned bookings, but they can't open the booking mailbox. They can't see what's going on with the bookings, which is just fine for, uh, for most people. So, and Bob, uh, let's see, Bob. Bob doesn't work Tuesdays. He has a problem. And um, on Wednesdays, he's trying to figure out what he did on Tuesday. So he doesn't work either of those two days. So let's click Save. And then let's go off to the um, site and see what it looks like. So to, just to show you that you can still book things for Bob. So here's the page. Let's go book something with our friend Bab. So I'm going to uh, do another one hour initial consult. And there's Big Bob Okotoks, but he's not available on that day because I said Wednesday he's not available. That's okay. I love Bob. So I'm going to wait till the 23rd. And look, Bob's available. And I'm going to book Bob at 11 a.m. And, you know, I, don't, I can do the rest, but I'm not going to. All right, if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. And remember that we're happy to help you set these uh, types of services up. And uh, most notably, there is a free 30-day trial of Office 365, which will include this service uh, on our homepage. So go to urtech.ca and surf, uh, scroll down to the bottom right-hand corner, and you'll see that free Office 365 setup. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.